Con y yo nos pondremos después de acuerdo que de ti, de ti ya no habrá. I want to say thank you for being here. I see many faces here that I saw last year, that I saw the year before. It's an honor to have all of you here to celebrate the 13th anniversary of Marapentec and uh, the 12th annual fundraising dinner. So we are here for one reason. We are here because God wants us to be here. For that reason, we're going to thank the Lord for bringing us together. But before I do that, I have to thank somebody who put me in this path. Not because he raised me as a son, but because I choose him. I choose to follow his step. Because when I came to this country, as an immigrant, you are looking for someone to follow his step. And I choose that man here, Henry Milloy. I want you to stand up. So it's like, he is like a second father for me because I follow him when he has a chance to speak in an event. I follow him when he have a chance, when I have a chance, an opportunity to see him advocating at the state house. I follow him on Facebook. I do everything to make sure that I learn from this man because he gave me what I need to do what I'm doing helping the community. And uh, we have a lot of really good model in that place today. And one of them is next to me, Tina. So the Lord put me in the path of a lot of wonderful people. I have to thank the Lord personally for this, especially my sister, Julia Martinez. Where is Julia Thompson Martinez? You know, most of the time, when you, have an, when you are leading an organization, a lot of people see only one person. A lot of people, when they see me, they say, Jack and Kelly is doing a good job. Oh, yeah, we are doing a good job. But we know we have Julia Martinez behind us to keep the troop together. So, Julia, thank you very much for everything you do. So now, together, together, we're going to thank the Lord for this great opportunity. Because having a center like Marapentec to train those young, uh, those young men and women and connect them with opportunity, this is not something we could have done alone without the presence of God among us. So let's stand up and we're going to pray the Lord together for this great opportunity. Father Lord, I'm going to be brief tonight because I talk to you every second in my life. You are my guide. You are everything for me. In this special moment, I want to say thank you, God, for the opportunity to bring us together to celebrate that very special occasion. I'm asking you for your blessing to all of those students who's going to graduate today. Today is just the beginning for them. They need internship. They need a job. You're going to be there for us in every step. I'm asking you, Lord, to bless the food we're going to enjoy today and the people who are preparing that food for us. I'm asking you, you're going to be there with us for the next three hours. You're going to bless this event and you're going to bring everybody home in peace. We pray you like this, God, in the name of Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Everyone heard my name already, so no need for me to introduce myself again. <laughs> um, it continues to be an honor for me and a privilege on behalf of the board of directors, the funders, the executive team, Carrie and Jean, and Jack, 
along with the teachers, students, to welcome each and every one here this evening. One of my duties today is to speak in English and Spanish. We have a busy agenda, so I'll try to be as brief as I can. So bear with me. At this time, I will repeat in Spanish the same statement that I just made. And then I will speak in English, and then I will translate in Spanish. Muy buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Julia Thompson Martinez, CIA de la Junta de Marathon Tech. Continúa siendo para mí un privilegio y honor darles la bienvenida esta tarde a todos en nombre de la Junta Directiva, los fundadores y el personal ejecutivo Kerry y Jack Daddy Jean. Al igual que los maestros y estudiantes, parte de mi responsabilidad esta tarde es de hablarles en inglés y en español. Lo haré en inglés y después en español, brevemente, ya que tenemos una agenda bastante ocupada. So now I speak in English. Each student, family, and friends that have made time and effort to be here tonight to support their family, friends, members of the community, Marapantec, and each other. This is your moment and time to shine. Your hard work and dedication has paid off. What you have learned inside a Marapante classroom is a vision, your vision that has come true. A door has been opened as you embark on a different journey, only now at a different level. You are well prepared and as a graduate of this school, and I can, I can attest to that. Marapantec vision is to educate and give every person who wishes to learn an opportunity to do so for free or at a very minimal cost. Also, let me just assure you that the school is named and located in Marapan. However, there are students from all over coming to learn. We come from different parts of the city and its surrounding towns and from different countries, continents, because we want to learn. We are thankful to all our funders. We are also very fortunate that we have a core of loyal members, believers of the work that is done at the school, so much so that it has expanded outside of the city. A wonderful example of the granted opportunities, for example, is the State Street Foundation is sponsoring the summer program job training for anyone between the ages of 16 to 24, free, and it includes a stipend. There are flyers on the resource table at the front if you, leave, if you need more information. Also, for those who may have seen and heard about the luxurious Marapantec on wheels, Park today in front of this building. That was made possible by the Lieutenant Governor, Karen Polito, who visited the school two years ago and was very impressed with the work and what she saw is done hands-on. And by the Governor Baker administration. On a personal note, I personally want to thank my family and friends for being here and always having my back. My sister Tina, who is the MC tonight, thank you sis, for you, oh. And for us, coming to Marapan, all events is a family reunion. Not all could be here tonight, but one of the graduates this evening is my daughter. I won't say her name because, <laughs> oh. If I say her name, she'll throw me on the bus on the way out. <laughs> Again, thank you all and have a blessed evening. Now I will translate in Spanish. Cada estudiante, familiar y amigos que han hecho tiempo y esfuerzo para estar aquí esta noche, para apoyar a sus familiares, a la escuela de Marapantec y a sus compañeros, esto es un momento y el tiempo para ti poder brillar. 
el trabajo difícil y la dedicación han pagado lo que han aprendido dentro del salón de clases de Marathon Tech es que la visión se te ha hecho una realidad y es que se les ha abierto una puerta para emprender una nueva y diferente trayectoria. Solo que ahora a un nivel distinto. Están preparados y yo como una graduada de esta escuela lo puedo atestiguar. La misión de Marapantec es educar y dar a todas las personas que desean aprender una oportunidad de hacerlo gratis o a un costo muy mínimo. También queremos decirles que aunque el nombre y la escuela están ubicados en Matapan, sin embargo, los estudiantes vienen de todos lados, pueblos aledaños, somos de distintos países, de distintos continentes, porque queremos aprender. Queremos darles las gracias a los que nos patrocinan. También somos muy afortunados de que tenemos un núcleo de miembros leales y creyentes en la obra que se realiza en esta escuela. Tanto que los, problemas se, los programas perdón, se han expandido fuera de la ciudad. Por ejemplo, el maravilloso, las oportunidades concedidas, por ejemplo, es la fundación de State Street. Ellos están patrocinando el programa de capacitación de trabajo de verano. Para cualquier persona entre las edades de 14, de 16, perdón, a 14 años. Gratis e incluye un pequeño saldo. Hay panfletos a la entrada por si les interesa saber más del programa. También para aquellos que han visto y escuchado sobre el lujoso van de Marapantec en ruedas, eso ha sido posible por la administración del gobernador Baker y de la subteniente, perdón, um, Karen Polito. La, perdón, la, la, la... Ay, estoy nerviosa. Quiero especial también agradecer a mi familia y amigos por estar aquí y siempre respaldándome. A mi hermana Tina, que es la anfitriona esta noche, muchas gracias, hermana. Para nosotros, estar juntos en Matapantex en una reunión familiar. Nuevamente, gracias por estar aquí. Tengan una muy buenas noches. Thank you all again. So I want to introduce now Margaret Haribo, the chair of the host committee. Is Margaret here? Welcome to Marapentec 12th anniversary, thank you. On behalf of the board of directors and board, mem board members, we warmly welcome each and every one of you. Each and every one of you that are here tonight, you mean a lot to us. Your presence means a lot to Marapentec. Your generous support goes a long way. Marapentec wants to acknowledge the Office of the Baker and Politos Administration, State Street Bank, my brother's keepers, the town of Randolph as our new satellite campus, elected officials, leaders, volunteers, supporters, and students, especially the ones that are about to graduate tonight, and our many friends in the community. We will not be here tonight if Jack, Daddy Jean and his wife Carrie had not devised a plan to implement a technical school in Mattapan to meet the needs of a community too often forgotten. This event could not be possible without you. Thank you for being here to celebrate with those students. Mattapan Tech remain true to its uh, mission which is to promote and support young, black and brown teen and young adult to drop training, paid internship and leadership driven training. That's what Madap and Tech, Tech stands for. That's what Madap and Tech is all about. 
Madame Pintech has come a long way. Thanks to the tremendous success of Jack and Carrie's dedication. This year, Madame Pintech has been blessed with a few small grants. All of this would not be possible with the close collaboration of a board, a solid board, dedicated board, a board whose members are constantly putting their best foot forward with one common goal in mind, move Marapentec forward. The board is committed to, his, to this and displays it this is in many ways. Whether it is to promoting Marapentec to their own social media or word of mouth, or other times members of the board have been known to, be, to stop to motivate the students, feeding them as an incentive to keep them sharp for class. It has been challenging, but not once have we considered it, it's insurmountable. We have a long way to go. And with you standing beside us, constantly supporting us, we will reach our destination. And you will be right there with us. We are proud of what we accomplished so far. But you with us, behind us, we will go further. You will get out of what you put in, and you will be proud of what you received. This is Madame Pentec. This is the gala tonight. Enjoy every minute of it. Thank you for your time. It is our hope that you have a great time tonight. Once again, on behalf of myself, Jack and Carrie, and the board members, the board of trustee, we thank you. Nous dis merci à tout le monde qui l'a assoué, qui a célébré le 12e anniversaire de Madame Pentec ensemble avec nous. Madame Pentec sortit loin, il marche, il apprend à aller, et il marche, il campe sous deux pieds, mais quand il est là, il sortit de Dieu. Ils sont prétines, ils sont prétines et Dieu, ils gagnent 12 ans. L'année prochaine, après les Madame Pentec, on tire, ils ont tiré prétines. Nous vous remercions parce que vous avez souhaité ensemble avec nous. Sans vous, pas d'abri bien fait. Et avec vous même, étudiants qui ont gradué à soi, nous vous remercions parce que vous êtes venus dans la classe, vous avez participé chaque jour. Vous n'avez pas manqué. Et si vous avez eu autant de manquer, mais vous avez fait effort pour vous venir là. Nous vous remercions encore à ceux qui viennent, à grand monde surtout qui finit et qui mène un autre monde ensemble avec eux. Ça fait promouvoir Madame Pentec dans la mission que elle a gagnée. Il fait promouvoir Madame Pentec dans le but qu'elle veut arriver. Merci pour la présence. Nous souhaitons que vous passiez un bon temps ensemble avec nous à soir. C'est pour vous donner un jour de lui-même. Merci. Vous allez entendre des remarques de Wilsi Mascari, Mascari, volunteer classroom instructor, Vedna Lacombe Haywood, Plymouth School Committee member, and Zakil Berry, a graduating student. Could you please come up? Dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to be here with you all. I feel blessed and privileged to be part of such a great success. On behalf of the faculty, of Marapente, and for me personally, we want to, to let you know, when you are with us, you are home. The fact that you take your time, to take the time to be here, means a great deal to us. And it also shows your dedication for a good cause. Your, don your donation, big or small, whether you are a first-timer or a 12-time participant, as a volunteer or someone who shared an idea with us, on behalf of the faculty and the entire team of Marapentec, we want to truly thank you very much for being here. Your good-hearted effort to include Marapentec into the ag your agenda 
speaks a volume to your character. As a volunteer at Marapen Tech, it feels like joining a new family after a long process of adoption. It feels like moving to a new adopted country where you don't know anybody, but everyone seems to know you. It's like meeting a new person every day on an event that you're not familiar with. It feels like trying to find a soulmate for a new meaningful, meaningful adventure. To those of you who choose to collaborate with us, many of them call us heroes. I do not think so. But there are a few heroes in this room tonight. First, let's talk about those who put their hard-earned money into a great cause, the cause of knowledge, the cause of sharing, the cause of narrowing the gap between the haves and the haves not. The cause of a more just society. You did not to do you did you did not have to do that. But by doing so, this is heroic to us. Our student. Those of you who are graduating, graduating tonight, you had the courage to put yourself in a great path, the path of, the, of a brighter future, the path of success, the path of, of a more informed society. I'm sure as a graduate today, you want to thank everyone who helped you climb this tremendous mountain. But it is for us to tell you thank you. Thank you for allowing us into your life. Thank you for letting us into your brand to share the gift of knowledge and include, and, and include us into your changing moment. Most of you take on this challenge to great sacrifice. That's heroic to us. Then let's talk about Jack and Carrie, who shared not only their physical houses, that's the physical house with the community, but also their knowledges and experiences to the disposition of whoever wants it or need, need them that's heroic to us. A few other folks also join them in this, on this journey. We call them the faculty staff. Some of us once a week, others twice or three times a week. These are the type of sacrifice we put ourselves, we put ourselves in to help and share a blessing. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We end up getting more than when we when than what we give. Our willingness to do a good deal would have no meaning without the will of the student to learn. Our faculty like Peterson Lamont, Kerry and Jean, Jacques Daddy Jean, Nadine Jean, Brian Andrew, Carolina Osoria, Saida Begun, 
Andris Duchesne, Marc Duchesne, Jacqueline Francois, and of course your humble servant, me. <laughs> we thank you for your support and want to wish all the graduate the best of luck. Thank you and God bless. Good evening, everyone. How are we doing so far? Um, first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate the graduates and thank Mattapantech for this honor. Like Tina mentioned, my name is Vedna Lacombe Hangwood and I'm one of the community service honorees for this evening and I'm a school committee member in the town of Plymouth. So how did a resident of Plymouth come in contact with the founders of Mattapantech? Through politics, quite naturally. It was about a year ago on a Sunday summer evening, very much like tonight, where I first met Jacques and Carrie Jean. A group of us were invited to a dinner for a candidate running for an office near their district. Some of us not having met before were quickly introduced. The candidate arrived and while halfway through imparting his vision, Jacques stopped in and started giving him words of advice. For those who know Jacques, you know where I'm going with this. Needless to say, this, candidate, uh, this couple intrigued me. Moreover, by how readily the candidate was not, wasn't offended, but apt to listening to constructive criticism, which made me understand the level of respect he may have had for them. We fast forward a couple of months where I would come to make their acquaintance again, but this time at Mattapan Tech, where I got a glimpse of their love letter to this community. Though ordinary from the outside, it's when you enter in and sit and listen, you understand the depth and breadth of this center. Mattapan Tech, for those who don't know, is a technological learning center that started in 2006 with only three students and two instructors, and now goes on to serve over 800 students yearly with 14 instructors. Both graduates of Wentworth, it was Jacques and Carrie's love for education, technology, and this community that was the impetus of this organization, and it continues to foster, support, and sustain it. Where else, if you are between the ages of 16 and 24, that your vocational tuition is free? And in an area like Mattapan, where there's inequity in education and persistent disparities in opportunity and achievement, Mattapan Tech is life-changing. And there's no better evidence of that than their graduates and their members of the board. Some months ago, I got invited to a dinner that Jacques, Carey, and Mattapan Tech board were hosting for internationally distinguished visitors. This particular group of visitors were elected officials from Canada. It was at this dinner I learned that most of the board members were previous students. Many of them had degrees in, in their fields, in other fields, but they came for instruction in project management. This gave me a better understanding of the depth and commitment not only Jacques and Carrie have, but how through their instruction and relationships, they found others to believe and dedicate their time and efforts to Mattapan Tech's mission of promoting self-sufficiency by empowering people through job training, career building, and leadership. It is the leadership that has carried this organization for 13 years and will continue to advance their mission to other communities throughout the state of Massachusetts. A couple of months ago on a visit to Mattapan Tech, Jacques called me a soldier, which I thought was peculiar. He would say this again in another visit and it would make me think, why did he call me that? Why not a sergeant or lieutenant? A soldier. When thinking of this word, typical images are conjured up. Our servicemen and women, warriors, fighters, a soldier. The definition is a person who's determined, persistent, who follows through, who doesn't take no for an answer, who believes in a cause higher than self and is willing to stay the course and fight no matter how difficult or alone they are in their efforts. As people who live a life of community service, that's who we are. That's who they are, soldiers. No matter the lack of resources, support, or simply how misconstrued their efforts are by the community they serve, Mattapan Tech perseveres because of the honesty, integrity, and admission it was founded on. A year later, I can honestly say, I cherish the relationship I have with Mattapan Tech's founders, Jacques and Carrie, and their willingness to welcome this stranger, a South Florida transplant, into their organization and their home, and to give me a glimpse of their love offering to this community, Mattapan Tech. Thank you. 
Let's give a hand for Sakil as a graduating student. Hello, everyone. My name is Zach Hoveri, and I just want to say it was a great pleasure on being able to attend Manpen Tech. Before I, st before I started, I was actually very skeptical on attending this class because I thought it would be a waste of time. But now, after, after these 10 weeks of working hard, getting ready, wanting to follow my dreams for, in computers, I realized all my doubts, they're all, they're actually the waste of time because, because I, I met a group of wonderful classmates and a great instructor who encouraged me to not give up and move, and move forward in life. And as I stand here today, I'll be receiving my certificate in hand, along with my fellow classmates, ready to ready to share potential to the world through hard work and dedication. Thank you, Manpan Tech, and thank you, Mr. Mr. Dequees, for everything. Please give Zakil another round of applause. This is a family evening. This is a family reunion. My sister, the chair of the board, graduated from Mattapan Tech. My daughter, Alexandra, and my son, Alan, graduated from Mattapan Tech. And now my goddaughter and my niece, Kimberly, is graduated from Mattapan Tech. So you see, it really, really, really works. It is a family affair. Also, before I turn it over to Jock to talk about the sponsorships opportunities, the raffle tickets. Yep. There's a great, amazing 60-inch television. They're five dollars each. A book of five for twenty dollars. There are additional raffle tickets for three dollars. So you will see the board members, the staff, volunteers going around. We, as a community, can support each other. So we no longer, Mattapan Tech is an example of saying when you want something done, you do it yourself. We don't wait for a handout. Yes, clap on that. Give yourself a round of applause. Because you see, if you were not here, this would not be possible. Carrie Ann and Jean will continue to do the work that they're doing. So your presence here means a lot to them. I'm going to turn it over now to Jacques Daddy Jean to talk about sponsor time. Thank you, Tina. So um, this event will not be possible without uh, our sponsors. So if you look at in the book, we have many sponsors. And what is interesting is the fact that every time I see people from my community come to support me, I feel good about it. Every time I see small business, business organization in my community come to support me, I feel great about it. Because if you do not support me, the people from outside, they will never support me too. So before I start with our sponsors, I have some very, very important personality here that I have to recognize. So I have Lionel Demosten. She's the, vice, she's the former vice chair of Marapentec. Lionel, stand up. She's one of the hardest working community activists. So I am very proud to have Lionel de Mosten coming back to volunteer at Marapentec. And uh, we have uh, Mr. Franz Duchen of Liberty Translation. Franz, can you stand up? This man has been supporting Marapen Tech for 12 years. Since the first year we had the first dinner, Franz Duchenne and Liberty Translation were, was a sponsor. And today again, Franz Duchenne is still a sponsor and every year, he give a little bit more. So that means it's not staying the same place too, it's making progress, and it translates that progress by giving Marap and Tech a little bit more. Probably all the blessing come because he support Marap and Tech. So if you have a business 
or an organization, you never support Marapentec, you miss something. Because when you support Marapentec, you have a lot of blessings so you can come back. We have another sponsor, and uh, she's everything, because you, as you can see that, the whole family participate in Marapentec, and uh, she is uh, the founder and CEO of the Lewis Brown Peace Institute. Any of you have participated before in the Mother's Day March? That's a beautiful event in Boston where all the mothers come together to ask for peace in the spirit of Boston. And this organization, if you have somebody killed, you don't expect anybody to die in your family. Sometimes you don't know where to go. And you call me because I know the phone number. I will call the Lewis Bowen Institute, Peace Institute, and they will help you with all the burial expense. And also, they will have counselor to help your family. So the Lewis Brown Peace Institute is one of the sponsors of tonight's event. And I want to recognize uh, uh, Mr. Richard Cherry Champagne. He is uh, the chair and the founder of the Haitian Chamber of Commerce. So this is the guy that is organizing the Haitian business community and uh, give them all the experience or whatever they need to prosper. So Risha, can you stand up? And he's a, he's a very great immigration lawyer too. So you better talk to him if you have some immigration problem. And um, do I have more time? One minute. Okay, I have more mi one minute. I'm coming back, and I have Regla, Regla, um, stand up, Regla Gonzalez. She is she is the regional president for LULAC. LULAC is an organization that gives scholarship to young people so they can go to university every year. They have that beautiful event. I always go to see that. To, to hear the testimony of all of those young, successful medical doctor, engineer, all this get the scholarship from LULAC. And one time I was reading, I, I, I went to pick up my daughter in one of the Catholic school and I was looking at the sponsor, I see LULAC as a sponsor. They send the kid in Catholic school everywhere to make sure their community, the Latino community, they have valuable people, and you can see that thanks to the work of LULAC now in Boston is not only the Irish, but also the Latino. So thank you for all the good work, Mrs. LULAC. I will come back again, but my time is over. Thank you. Yes, he will be back again, but he asked me to keep it moving, and that includes him also. I got to keep him moving also. Um, next, to bring up Wilsey Zachary, contemporary writer and storyteller. A little bit taller, sorry, yo. <laughs> so first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mattapan Tech for having me today. I'd also like to thank the guy who looks a little bit older and balder than me, the one before me, uh, for inviting me to be here tonight. And i also like to thank the graduates just for having me, allowing me to be able to be here, to be able to speak for them. And uh, just to say congr uh, congratulations to you all. It's not an easy thing that you did, but you were able to make it, and it's something to be proud of. Um, the poem that I have for you guys tonight is more geared towards the fellas, but ladies, please don't feel ignored. <laughs> but it's called um, A Call to My Brothers. This new generation of black men has a chance to make a choice, to lift up every voice, to discontinue the toxic qualities and characteristics that were passed down to us by black men who knew no better. That's not to say that we don't have black men that stand true, but that is to say that we still have work to do. Trust me, my brothers, I understand that this task is tall, but for the betterment of all, we must fall on the sword. But to do better, we must know better. To know better, we must unlearn to relearn. This tutelage must start from within. 
Healing is where we must begin. We heal first so we can feel no fear on the path ahead. So the future is viewed with joy rather than dread. We heal first so no further infection can fester in our hearts. So youth understands how healing starts. We heal first to face the trauma we swept under the rug. So emotions aren't ignored and dealt with by drugs. We heal first so we don't self-harm to feel alive. So we don't need what the doctor prescribes. We heal first so we can love ourselves, our women, and our children. Once our healing is complete, we take the time to accept ourselves. We accept ourselves and the experiences we've had, so we can let go of what's made us mad. We accept ourselves from the mistakes we've made, so that same anger can be re-aimed. We accept ourselves for not taking time to reflect, for not growing our intellect. We accept ourselves for who we are. For today, we raise the bar. In time, we change the way that we are perceived, so we grow. We grow to understand this nation, so we know that incarceration is simply disguised castration. We grow to shed the ideals that have kept us stagnant, so black men are no longer labeled as absent. We grow to be an example of positive change, so the game can be rearranged. We grow to be the black men we want our sons to be, so lessons are passed down generationally. We grow to be worthy of wives, so we thrive rather than survive. We grow to show who we truly are, and to the kings we know we are. We grow into our role as protectors. We protect, for that is our role as black men, so our people are never disrespected again. We protect so our queens can feel safe with us, so our families can develop foundations of trust. We protect so our children can be scholars with bigger dreams than what makes the most dollars. Amen. We protect because we have blood in our veins, otherwise we end up back in chains. We protect each other because we are a tribe, so it's time to put pettiness aside and project a new vibe. We protect with our minds, we protect with our bodies, we protect with our souls, because we are the first and last lines of defense. We protect because we are black men, and that's what we were put here to do. Healing, acceptance, growth, protection. We do this because as black men, we are tasked with the protection of our people. We are tasked with the growth of our nation. We are tasked with the acceptance of our brothers. We are tasked with the healings of our, with our we are tasked with the healings of our wounds. We are tasked to create the change in self that we want to see in the world, for the world has changed us, and it's time to fight back. of babes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Next, coming up to share some remarks with you is Thaddeus Miles from Mass Housing and my brother's keeper. Thaddeus. Good evening. Good evening. All right, I just got off a plane from London. Good, good evening. All right, all right. This is a beautiful afternoon, beautiful evening. So Benjamin May said, thank you, sir. Loved your performance. <laughs> One day I'm going to be able to sing like that. Maybe dance like that. Benjamin May, May said, the tragedy of life is often not in our failure, but rather in our complacency, not in our doing too much but rather in our doing too little. Not in our living above our ability, but rather in our living below our capacities. I'm Thaddeus Miles, the Director of Community Services at Mass Housing. I'm also the co-chair of my brother's cook keeper, Boston. Most importantly, I'm the grandson of Victoria Miles. Grandma taught me about sacrifice. I never met her because she gave her life giving birth to her youngest child so that her legacy of giving could live on for generations. I'm going to let them finish. It's all good. 
I'm the son of Evelyn Miles, who picked snap beans until her hands had icicles two days before I was born. Mom taught me about work, work ethic, hope, dreams, and helping others. She knew every man and woman is born into this world to do something unique and something distinctive. And if he or she doesn't do it, it will never be done. And when I thought about the impact of the Mattapan Tech Center and what I would say today, I didn't think about technology. I thought about legacies changing. I thought of hopes and dreams. I thought of sacrifice. I thought of pathways for men and women to do what they were born to do. One family's dream, one family's sacrifices led to this room full of believers helping to clear the path of success for many. And congratulations to the graduates that will be graduating today. Malapan Tech Center is special. Whether you come to learn about how to take a selfie to send to your friends or your family, coding for kids, junior robotic engineering, or professional training in job placement. You leave the center knowing you're worthy. You leave the center knowing it's okay to dream big. You leave the center knowing you will always have someone in your corner. I came here to say thank you to Malapan Tech Center. We are better because you have never given up on us. We love and respect you. And Brother G, I see you. And that's, I don't really know what that means still. <laughs> but when he first met me, we were on Facebook, and he sent me a message. He says, Thaddeus, I see you. Do you see me? And I just want you to know that I see you. And I appreciate you, and I love what you do for the community, and I love for your sacrifice. And uh, the one thing that I almost forgot is that I know this is a fundraiser and that this is a gala. And so I come bringing a check for $2,500 from Mass Housing to support Mass Pan Tech. <laughs> and uh, So Thaddeus, that's what he means, I see you, because you do great work in the community. And so many people, you're not someone doing the work to get recognition, but we do see you. And then you see him by making that donation. So thank you again for being here. Um, and yes, we do see you. Thank you. Before I ask Noel to come and speak, I just want to give some acknowledgement and recognition to people that are in the house who are running for office. City Councilor at large for Boston is my dear friend Julia Mejia. Julia, say hi to the people. City Councilor at large from Brockton, Adias Pierre. Adias, are you here? Wave and say hi to the people. Oh, there you go. Candidate, hey, you know, speak it into existence, right? <laughs> Marlene Amira, chair of the Haitian Community Partners, are you here? Just say hi. There you go. Stand up. We can't see you. And then we also have Tobias T. Okay. And then we also have Tobias T. Cowens representing Mayor Bill Carpenter. Tobias, are you here? Say hi. Thank you. We also have our counselor at large, Anissa George. She'll come and say her remarks later. Anissa, say hi to the people. Now we're going to ask Noel DeCanto, graduating students, please come up and share your remarks. Greetings to our state officials, city officials, board members, faculties, instructors, friends, my fellow graduates. Welcome to the 12th annual gala 
and graduation ceremony of Mattapan Tech. I am delighted to be part of this graduation class and blessed to have this opportunity to share my experiences at Mattapan Tech. I wanted to learn more about computer technology, but I did not know where to begin. Then one day, while scrolling through Twitter, I found a tweet from Mayor Brockton, Bill Carpenter, who tweeted a previous picture of a graduation class. I knew if the Mayor Brockton supported Mattapan Tech, that this would be a great place for me to learn about computer technology. When I discovered the tuition cost, I couldn't believe it. For free? Or for $300? I can change my career? Let's just let that sink in for a moment. For free? Or for $300? Are you kidding me? This type of training would cost thousands of dollars at any other school. The instructors at Mattapan Tech are passionate about computer technology, patient with students, and caring. I remember missing a day of class due to illness. My instructor, Jacquette Jean reached out to me throughout the week to make sure I was well. When the course was completed, anytime I had a question or needed direction, Mattapan Tech was there for me. I was able to secure an IT job within a matter of two weeks after graduation. With the help of Mattapan Tech, their quick response for a letter of recommendation and a reference check helped set me apart from other candidates. I will leave you with a quote from Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Mattapan Tech is not in this for a profit. They are preparing the next generation to change the world. Thank you, Mattapan Tech, for all you have done for the community, for me and my fellow classmates. God bless you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Tobias Cowens. I'm the Deputy Chief of Staff. Um, in your programs, it says Mayor Bill Carpenter, but unfortunately, the mayor's feeling under the weather. And uh, for the city of Brockton, the mayor is sort of like our uh, uh, Brady. You know how, the, for those that follow football, you gotta protect your quarterback. So for, for this evening, I'm here to bring greetings on behalf of Mayor Carpenter in the city of Brockton. I have a check to present. Unfortunately, it needs a signature on it. So I will have to get that to you probably during the week once I'm able to get it signed, but I do have a check. Uh, I also like to extend congratulations to the graduates, and it's so great to see some familiar faces here. Noel, you and I worked together for a while, and man, you never shared with me about Mattapan Tech, so congratulations, <laughs> Noel. I, I miss the guy. Far as Mr. Brito, um, I taught you CPR, but you taught me a few things. Where'd Mr. Brito go? Mr. Brito. There you go. That was amazing. That was amazing. Thank you so much. So, I think I covered all my key points. So thank you, congratulations, and Mayor Carpenter, we'll see you at the 13th gala next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tina, and thank you, Jack, and thank you everyone who is here today on behalf of the city of Boston, I bring you greetings, I bring you congratulations, and I bring you a short message, I think, that really encapsulates the meaning of this celebration brought you here.
here today. And um, that's really the message of family. That's really a message of community. And we heard in Noelle's comments just a few moments ago, um, but I think that you've experienced this over the course of your time with Mattapan Tech. And that is this um, celebration today has come from probably some of the most important parts of your life. And I think that starts with uh, thoughtfulness about community, thoughtfulness about family, thoughtfulness about self. And Noel shared with us the, um, the power of this work. And he, he used the quote, preparing the next generation to change the world. And when we talk about changing the world, it's often something that we can't grasp hold of. It's really hard to understand. It's really hard to make that a concrete statement. It's really hard to make that tangible, to be able to touch that every single day in your lives. But when you particip participate in a program like Mattapan Tech, either as a student or as a celebrant here today, you are creating that piece that's tangible. You are taking the best part of yourself, the best part of your community, the best part of your family, your extended family, and making that change for the world, that goal of changing the world, that goal of, of changing what is around you and making it tangible, making it real. And that, that purpose that you find yourself, the, the purpose that brought you here today and brought you to this celebration, brought you to that, this graduation, has really been a, a momentum that either you caused for yourself or that you were inspired by somebody else that, that created that momentum of change for you. And whether it was a desire to change your career, uh, you were bored perhaps, or unmoved where you were, if it was a moment of change that was motivated by an economic need or a family need, whatever that motivation was, you took that step. And you took it whether you were a student and you're graduating today and we're here to celebrate that. You took that step, you created that moment, whether you are, if you're a family member here celebrating that. If you're a community member, if you're a donor and a supporter of this program, you've helped along that, uh, that, that, uh, that passage, that, that movement, that moment that's been created by the individuals we're celebrating today. And now I don't know the graduates that are here today, but I wanna feel that I'm part of what's motivated you to get to this day, to get to this celebration. And I know for us, when we think about, um, and I think Noel used these words too, I like, I'm a, I'm a note taker, but he talked about the, the staff and the faculty at Mattapan Tech, those that keep the work going in and out, day in and day out. He mentioned the word passionate, he mentioned the word patience, he mentioned the word caring as ways to describe what's happening at Matt, Mattapan Tech. My hope for you, especially the graduates, but those of us that are here as supporters, as community members, my hope for you is that we take those motivating factors, we take your experience, we internalize it, and then we share it. And we help this next group of students that will come in through Mattapan Tech and change their career track, change their economic opportunity, and in effect, to change their family, their community, and in the end, have the ultimate goal that all of us have. It's part of why we exist and why we're here today, but it's part of our eternal goal to change the world. So I congratulate you on your success tonight. I thank you for your support for the graduates and the programs at Madison, at Madison. I do a lot of work around school, so I think about Madison. Um, thank you for your effort and your support around Mattapan Tech and all of the wonderful things that happened through that program, through this family, um, the Jean family, and through the community that they've created with all of you. Uh, my congratulations, my best wishes, and uh, let's all continue to, con to do this together. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It's Karen Polito, your Lieutenant Governor, and most importantly, friend of Mattapan Tech. I just want to give a big hello and just a hug to Carrie Ann and Pastor Jean for your leadership in the community and all things Mattapan Tech. I remember uh, being with you in 2015, uh, shortly after Governor Baker and I came into office uh, to visit this program. And I believed in it then and I continue to believe in you and what this program is doing uh, in your community uh, and for our Commonwealth. Uh, 
we were early investors in the Innovation Lab, and uh, we're really pleased tonight uh, to uh, be witnessing, uh, I know all of you there in the room will see the uh, innovation on wheels with the tech program literally going to where people uh, are so that they can develop uh, the IT skills, the technical skills, and digital lit literacy that's so important uh, given our changing uh, workplaces with uh, more technology um, in everything. Uh, we need people to have the skills to be able to plug into the jobs and the opportunities in communities across our Commonwealth. And Mattapan Tech is doing their part by reaching uh, not only young people, but uh, adults who want to reskill and participate in this program and gain that certificate that can then connect them to a good job. And I just can't thank you enough uh, we're very proud of what you've accomplished and what you're doing and where you're heading and we'll continue uh, to be a, a strong partner with you uh, to see Mattapan Tech be available and reach more people uh, in the greater Mattapan area. Uh, thank you everyone tonight. I wish I could be with you. Uh, have a wonderful celebration and a meal together. Uh, blessings uh, for good health, a safe summer, uh, and more access to opportunity for the people who will come connected to you and your greater Mattapan family. All the best. Have a great night. Thank you to our Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito for, the, for sharing that message with us. <clears throat> and again, congratulations to the graduate. Before I bring up our keynote speaker, I'm not going to focus too much on his bio because I really want to give him the opportunity and all the time that he needs to deliver his message. So our keynote speaker is Ken Clifton this evening and is the Randolph Town City Councilor. Um, Kevin, please come up and take your rightful place. Is Kevin here? Ken, please. Ken, Ken, I'm sorry, no wonder you didn't come. <laughs> Ken Clifton, Randolph Town Councilor. Fellow elected officials, members of the clergy, members of the board of Mattapan Tech, graduates, awardees, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. First things first, I want to congratulate the Haitian football team and Haitians around the world on such a historic achievement in the Gold Cup. Now back to something a little less important, tonight's gala. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an emotional occasion for many of you. You have overcome many obstacles. Your very presence here is a victory. This is truly a wonderful celebration. But let's be clear, this celebration is more than getting a plaque or a piece of paper saying you have received an award or you have graduated. That is great, but it is much more than that. It is about having traveled a long and riddled road with challenges, and of course, met with momentous accomplishments. Your road to success was not a street already paved. You were not born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You, with the support of family, friends, and others, have created this road as you have traveled along. And so it is with a profound sense of pride and, and admiration that I congratulate you on your amazing journey. At this point, I would like to ask the graduates to kindly stand. Please, graduates, please stand. 
and let's give them a round of applause. Come on, let's go. Let me remind you, graduates, that although we have congratulated you, it is important that you maintain your humility and indeed your dignity. And if I know Mattapan Tech family well, and I think I do, not only would they have equipped you with a skill, but I'm certain they have instilled the values, principles, and convictions that are necessary for further success. It's about helping others once you're in a position to help. I caution you never to kick down the ladder because you believe you've arrived on the top of the wall. It's never, ladies and gentlemen, it's never about wealth and caliber. It's about caring and character. It's never about vanity. It's about values. It's never about convenience, it's about convictions. And it's never about power and authority, it's about service to humanity. So many people have often asked me, why am I so obsessed with community service and supporting others? The truth is, I have been a beneficiary of so much help and support along my own journey. There is no rhetoric here. This has been my life experience. I was fortunate to have immigrated to this country still a young boy in my early teens. I settled in the state of Idaho. Yes, Idaho, not Iowa. <laughs> and at every milestone of my journey, I've been helped and supported. Whether it was graduating from high school, obtaining my bachelor's degree, or my master's degree, or my law degree, or as qualifying as an attorney. At each step, I was a recipient of help along the way. In my political career, I have been especially blessed. One particular incident stands out. I can recall while doing house to house campaigning for the first time about 12 years ago, one gentleman had slammed the door in my face and almost broke my nose. But I didn't stop there. I went to the next door. The lady who came to the next door was a Haitian lady. She recognized I was physically shook up and very upset. She muttered something in Creole and walked away. I thought she was turning her back on me as well. But as fate would have it, she was an angel from heaven. She went to turn off the stove, and recognizing I was distraught, she proceeded to walk the entire neighborhood with me, introducing me to her friends, and I have never looked back since. I close by reminding you of the power of possibilities that you have in your hands. Many of you would have seen the very disturbing image of a father and a daughter lying face down in the, muddy, in the muddy waters along the banks of the Rio Grande. I'm aware there are, many, there are many immigrants in this building with us this evening, but let us not be pretentious. All this family wanted was what we wanted, an opportunity. This image is a poignant reflection of this perilous journey many, many migrants face. Unfortunately, it represents more than that. I now leave you with a simple but profound question. Is this a reflection of who we are, of who we are and what we've become? The answer, my friends, is in your hands. Thank you, and may God bless you.
thank you, Councillor Clifton, for your words, for your service, and for your support. One more time for the Councillor. And now is the time we've all been waiting for. I know it says board members, but I think I need to start with Carrie Ann Jean, co-founder and executive director. Please come up front. She's working, Carrie Ann. And of course, the Reverend Jacques Daddy Jean, co-founder, president, and grant writer. Julia Thompson Martinez, chair of the board. Bonne Calix, vice chair of the board. Merlin Ferdinand Prosper, Secretary. And now the Governing Board, Gilbert Berry. If I'm calling you, I think they are to come up. Yes. So please make your way up. Frank Desamonts, forgive me if I mispronounce your name. Margaret Hevra, Merlin Prosper, Jean S. Blanc, Dr. Shitra Desap. Deshpandi, am I calling it right? Vanessa Jean, Tom St. Cyr, Hazel Bino, Marguerite Duchesne, George Macius, and Dr. Patricia Samour. This is the board of director and the governing board of Mattapan Tech. Please give them a hand. They are the ones that make everything possible for us to be here tonight. Now is the time that we've all been waiting for, the graduates and the award presentation. Once again, the Board of Directors of Mattapan Tech. That is, that is, that is Manuel, that is Miles, come in, join us. Ken Clifton, so when we call a student, you're going to walk this way and you're going to live that way. You walk this way and you live that way. Can I have all the graduating students come to the dance floor? All together, all of you are gonna wait on the dance floor. So first we have Anthony Ajay. Come up, please. Noel do 
canto. Richard, the suyo. Durán Víctor Ofori en Abulu Homer Trevon William Jack Yvonne Dear Jean Kelly Brotherson Ledger. <laughs> Kyle Lothman. <laughs> Jean Emmanuel Malan. Shadson Merciu. <laughs> Cortes Noel. Aaron Oniango. If I don't pronounce the names then as they should. Oladapo Badmayoni Sogolu. Thank you. Congratulations. Kimberly J. Thompson. Thank you. 
Okay, if we miss anyone, we will have to um, speak with you after, so you can see Kerry, Jack, or myself. So that. for the group picture. the graduating student that is well deserving of his certificate and um, it was it did not get printed so we are uh, terribly apologizing for that 
and officially we are going to call his name because he did everything he was supposed to do. This was just an error. And his name is Jason Oliveira Barbosa. Thank you. Okay, we're getting close before the food. Yes, we know we're all hungry. I know I am hungry. But we want to do a few awards honoring our 2019 community champions. When I call your name, please come up. Jacques will give you your awards, your take a photo. And so I'm just gonna call your name. Are we ready? Yeah. Is the photographer ready? Yeah, I am. We can't do it without the photographer. I am. Okay. First calling up Onin Kalitz. So I'm going to read the citation and the award for one, and everybody's getting the same thing. On behalf of the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I am pleased to confirm you this governor's citation in recognition of your transformational leadership and your outstanding contribution to promote the social and economic development of your community. This 13th day of June in the year 2019, Governor Charles D. Baker and Lieutenant Governor Karen E. Polito. Congratulations. <laughs> Richard Thierry Champagne. Reverend Carleen L. Orr, Merlin G. Desorier. Good evening, bonsoir. Uh, C'est avec un plaisir, uh, un cœur uh, rempli, un cœur rempli uh, d'humilité. It's really with a humbling heart and with really trembling fear as I stand here today. And I'll say just very quickly, I remember I was in law school and that's when I, as an immigrant, I had my very, very first um, computer. And at that time, Madapentec probably was in the belly, you know, of Mr. Uh, Reverend um, Jean. And I remember at that time, he did have, you know, a company that helped people to fix their computers. And my very, very first computer was fixed there. And who would have thought, qui aurait cru qu'aujourd'hui, 
euh, l'eau manqué saute dans les yeux. Lorsque moi, ouais, tout yon groupe de jeunes, when I saw a melting pot of graduates uh, from different backgrounds and skin colors and ages and, 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 and gender, what a blessing. Congratulations, really more to you. And I'm very humbled and thankful for this honor. Um, I will be very candid and very quickly at saying this. Two weeks ago, I received a, an award um, for humanitarian award um, in Newton. And it was so greatly appreciated and I loved it. But nothing, absolutely nothing, compares to receiving something from your own community. And as it was said earlier, to know that your community sees you, it's the most beautiful thing. Thank you for seeing me, and I do see you. Merci, bonne soirée, et comme félicitations à tous les gradués. Thank you. Rizvi Santin. Daniel W. Labranche. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Edna Lacombe Haywood. Jerseed, look. Dr. Joseph P. Polikop.
Sure. I was very surprised when I heard the news that I was going to be honored this evening. The appreciation is the community that I served and not just me. And a word that puts away the self for a time to serve the community. I serve several communities and willingly and through God's grace. I see community as a family and the which to service is the love of, of empathy, the ability to imagine the other pers perspective, tools like listening, observing, and fully engage for practical visions and effective solutions. Thank you for this award. Thank you to Sister Gilbert for thinking about me. Thank you uh, for recommending me this award. Also, I would like to thank um, Reverend Jack Daddy and all the staff that work for Matapin Tech. And I congratulate all the students. And I thank Brockton Tabernacle Church that also gave me the great opportunity to serve. I would like to thank my cousin that always encouraged me and says continue to serve. And tonight, I thank each one of you that come with me tonight to support me. May God bless you all. Rizri St. Tien, can you come back up because they forgot to give you your governor's citation. Photographer. <laughs> Merlon Ferdinand Prosper. Bob Vance. Before I call the final recipient, the Champ Community Champions Award, Tracy Rankin, is receiving the Henry Millerin Service Award. Mr. Millerin, could you come up here, please? The Mattapan Greater Boston Technology Learning Center Inc. student body and alumni recently created a Community Service Award after Henley, Henry Millerin of Medford, a living community hero. And we truly, truly see you. Millerin served honorably in the US military and left to become an advocate for the Haitian community and for the people living with disabilities. 
He is sometimes referred as the father of the Haitian community. And although I am not a Haitian, he is truly the father of every single community. Thank you so much. And tra the award goes to Tracy Rankin. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much, Jackals, Daddy Jean, Carrie Ann, Henry Miller, and Julia. Thank you, everybody, for coming here today, and thanks just for having me. Um, it's a very important and very special award to receive. It's been a lot of work, many years coming, um, but I see some very, very important people here today that I've looked up to over the years and I've watched and I've shepherded, I've followed. Uh, Tina Sherry, you're one of them. I first came to Boston in 2000. Um, I married a Dominican man who had a store on Geneva Avenue, um, Rosie Market. <laughs> one of the first ladies I heard about at night in the morning was Tina Sherry. I heard about her for many years and honestly it was something that reminded me of home the fight the fire in the belly fighting for what's right fighting for justice uh tina you are my hero honestly Jackal Daddy, I've been watching you. I see you. I've been watching you. I don't see you. I've been watching you. Congratulations. Finally, we're taking a step forward. You know, I'm from Dublin, Ireland. I seem a little outplaced here. I'm white, yellow belly Irish. Probably the only white, yellow belly Irish person in the place. Uh, but where I come from, the only thing that's separated by colour is your laundry. So when I came to White Belly Irish Boston, I was shocked. I was surprised. To me, it was the most divided state I've ever come across. I imagined something totally different. And from the time I stepped into this state, I've been fighting for what's right, fighting for a just cause, inclusion, diversity, equality, and I'm fighting it with an Irish accent, and I will continue. A lot of the great leaders, great, great leaders, forget about the work that actually has to be done. The real work is with the families, with the children. It's about what's right. It's about equality and inclusion. And that's what we all should be showing. That's our first foot forward. That's what should be our first foot forward. I see you, Tadius, as they call him, Thaddeus. I've been calling Thaddeus, Thaddeus for a while. I've been following him too. He's one of my Be Connected, Stay Connected members. And I see a lot of my Be Connected, Stay Connected members here. I want to say thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting Rank and File. And this is just the beginning. I want to mostly say thank you to Lincoln, Rank and Rosa, and Devlin, Rank and Rosa. Two boys that have put Christmas aside, many Christmases aside. They have sacrificed mum time. They've given me the space to be able to help other kids, kids on the run. Kids on the run from group homes, from foster homes. They've taken these kids in as I've taken them in and they've called them brother and sister. These are the real heroes right here today. I would not be here without both of them. And I love you both very dearly. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks.
Congratulations again, Tracy. You never know how the world just brings us all together. It's kind of a 360 degree of separation. Last one, there is a citation for a Margaret. Harry Wu. Margaret. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over to Reverend Jacques. He's going to recognize a few people, and then we're going to eat. But I want to leave you with some parting words. As a community, we often hear nobody's doing anything. I'm going to invite all of us that when you hear that, you change the narrative. Somebody's doing something. And if nobody's doing anything, whatever that thing is that you want done that nobody's doing, then the invitation is do it yourself. It takes each one to do something. So if you can tweet, if you can text, if you can Instagram, Instagram Mattapan Tech. Somebody's doing something. Don't ever, do not ever let them say nobody's doing anything because we are here this evening. Congratulations to all of you, the honorees. Congratulations to the graduates. And thank you for allowing me to spend this time with you this evening. God bless you. All right. I know everybody's hungry, but... I cannot do anything now until I say thank you for, to my brother, uh, Taddy Smiles. You know, I don't know if you heard about my brother's keeper. Those guys, they're really, really brothers. And uh, long, it's, it, it's been like 10 years ago, Taddy came and he was sitting right here to celebrate with us. That was uh, the second annual dinner. At the time, he wasn't a founder, but he gave us some very nice professional picture, and we made $500 selling those pictures. And he came back today as a founder with a check of $2,500. Everyone in my family know it. My wife know it. I have two brothers in Boston. One is Taddy Smiles, and one is Conan Harris. Conan Harris is not here today because right now, his wife is the US representative for Massachusetts. So that makes this man very busy, but last year, he was here with us. When Tad called me and he said, I will be there. Do you know where he came from to be here? He was in London this morning. Yes. And he got off the plane, went to his office, take a shower and come here because he sees me. So we have to see each other. In order for us to become stronger, when you are in the top like Tad, you pull me up. The first grant I wrote, he said I'm going to approve that grant, but it's not good. But I have people that's going to help you. And he invite me. Boston Foundation is having a little meeting about grant writing. He invite me and I go. And you know, in three years, we have 15 grants 
approval since he gave me the lead. And he told me, Jacques, you're doing good. The only thing, there is barrier, and I'm going to help you breaking the barrier. And I can tell you, since Conan Harris and Tadi Ismail said, I'm going to break the barrier, you can see my up and take in three years. We are doing great. We graduate more students. And as one of my students just said, two weeks after graduating, he secured a job. Not with any place, with is is an IT for Beth Israel Hospital. <laughs> and we have a young man that was speaking here. That young man, when he came for an interview, and his mother said, you know what, he has problem. But you know what? This is a good example for anybody that have a kid, kid with autism. This young man was the most intelligent student in my class. To the point I invite him to do an internship for me because I have a small company. And you know what? Mass Wobody called and said, I want one of your students in my Wobody program. And he stand up, he said, did I hear mass robotic? I said, yes, this is what you heard. He said, I want to be part of it. And I called mass robotic. I said, I have a kid. He's the most intelligent in my class. Mass robotic said, I want that kid. Unfortunately, unfortunately. He called me yesterday to tell me I get another job. I'm not going to accept this position. And uh, the whole team, it's not only myself, the whole team was very disappointed. But we let the kid do what the kid want to do. And uh, the door is open for you, Mr. Ezekiel. Anytime you feel like coming back, Marapentech and Maso Boutique will have the door open for you because you impress us. So, <laughs> let me recognize the teachers, the people who stand with me. I have Mark. I want Mark to stand up. He's one of my teachers. Andres, I want Andres to stand up. I want Peter Sonlamo to stand up. I want Wills Mascari to stand up. Gary <laughs> Angin, where's Gary? So those are the people who are standing in the classroom Bending to help students to make them where they are. And you students, I want you to stay in contact with Madap and Tech until you get a job. Because we are not alone. We have a lot of people with us. And uh, I want to recognize my friend, the good lawyer in the Haitian community, Kirby Woberson. Kirby, stand up for people to see you. When problem arise, I call Kirby. He said, I'm there. I will help. And I have Richard here, is the same thing, the lawyer. When I call them, they respond. Those are the people we have behind us in the community to do the job. And my wonderful wife, Kerry Angin. You know, sometimes I said, I'm glad I married that woman because he married my people. Yeah. When you marry somebody and she married your people, I heard so many noise about Haiti and we were supposed to celebrate our 25th anniversary in Haiti. I said, I'm not going there because too many problems. My wife said, I'm going there and I will renew my way in Haiti by phone with you because I want to celebrate my 25th birthday in Haiti. Woo! We went there. That was beautiful. The country, I don't see any problem. I was, we were hanging out in the capital. We didn't see any problem. We have a wonderful day celebrating our 25th anniversary over there. I have my friend Jean-Claude Sano. Where is Jean-Claude? 
is warning. We don't do politics here, but it's warning for city councillor at large in Boston. I can say that, I think. Oh, D5. He want to replace Tim McCarthy. So, you, you see that man over there? He's a community fighter. And uh, we have Adis Pierre. Where is Adis? Adis Pierre is out there. He's already left. And all of this beautiful decoration you see here is donated by Soleil Levy. So the company that does it is, is uh, Sound and Decor. But the organization that pay for all of this is Soleil Levy. And uh, we could not do all of this, not only with all of our friends, our government partner, but my friend, my partner, Julia Thompson Martinez. And I have a lot of family members here, new family members, because my son chose that beautiful Cape Belgian woman to marry. You see this crazy boy over there? Stand up for people to see you. It's my son. He's going to marry that beautiful girl next to him. I'm so proud of you, my friend. Y yo nos pondremos después de acuerdo. Que de ti, de ti ya no habrá, oye, de un solo recuerdo. Camino del puente me iré, María. Voy a tirar tu cariño al río, mirar cómo cae al vacío y se lo lleva la corriente. 